Hi, this is Rick Rowland, writer of PowerLink, and I thank you for your interest in this. This is an upgrade to the PowerLink remote controller, the desktop portion of PowerLink, and it is a function that is needed for people who perform the reconciliation of logs. It is the copy credit function that we had in the old DOS version that I've now introduced in this version. And to demonstrate it, we're going to select a day that I know has a great example of how to show you this. So we'll set this into motion and we will then show you how to use it. Okay, here we have an ordinary reconcile result view. If you know that you have inserts and missed, you might want to view it in this manner down here so that you see just your inserted alongside your drop, which gives you an optimal view for recognizing what might need to be copy credited. When we say copy credited, we're talking about here's a piece of copy that aired. This is something, CART 395, it was called that, and it aired at a certain time. This was something that was scheduled at 840 with this other CART number, but it didn't air. So what's happening here? Well, obviously, this is aired for that. This is the function that a copy credit takes care of, where we, in effect, take this copy and credit it to this event so that the traffic system correctly reconciles the commercial, perhaps showing it as a copy change or not. That's your choice. Okay, the way we do this in the old PowerLink, you might remember we did this with F2 on one, F2 on the other, and it didn't matter which order you did that in. In here, it's a simple drag and drop. You go to one or the other and you left click on it and you simply drag it to the one that you want to credit it to. After all, you're taking this insert, this airing that has aired at 842 with cart number 0395 for 31 seconds and you're crediting this command to play cart 2568 which was also for 30 seconds at this time and you can see that's all similar so now i pop up this confirmation and it's asking you all the particulars the cart 0395 at 842 to cart 2568 at 840 you say yes and because there was a difference in the cart numbers i'm now going to have to ask you the question which cart number do you want to send back to traffic you can send back the new one which is 0395 which will enable your traffic system to show that it is a copy change or you can say no to this and send it back as 2568 which would keep your traffic system from knowing that it actually changed carts but we're going to say yes to it and when i click on this it's going to disappear because this screen is set to only see inserted and missed events and of course this is going to become aired or moved depending on the time difference so i click on that and it goes away again i drag and drop by hitting the left button and dragging it to the one i want want to credit it to yes yes click drag drop yes yes click drag and drop yes and yes okay so let's take a quick look at that under the normal view let's go and search out 0395 because we know that's a piece of information that was a part of all of those events and sure enough we can see that up here in these cart numbers now what you're seeing here is I'm telling you the original cart number on this left-hand side, that was what it was scheduled with, but you opted to say, I want to use the 0395, thus showing your traffic system that there was a copy change. And the little splat to the right of it is saying, that's the one that we're going to send back to traffic. If the splat was on the left-hand side, it means that it was a copy change, but you're going to send back the original cart number so that your traffic system doesn't see the actual change. You can see that all the duration went to the 31 as we saw that the inserted events had earlier. Now there's another function that this drag and drop can be used for and it is simply to swap air times. You might want to do that in a situation where you have a particular advertiser that was scheduled and played in very close commercial clusters in terms of time. And there are situations where PowerLink might get this wrong and you want to reverse and say, no, this time went to this one and that time went to that one. So in this situation, I'm going to use this broker link thing to demonstrate it. And we can actually use the duration to kind of follow the movement. We also have an airtime of 633. Now I'm going to reverse these two. You'll also see the 32 go to the nine, which was scheduled for 10 and the nine go to the 30, which 
is obviously going to be wrong, but I'll demonstrate how you can undo that as well. So I'm going to copy credit it by dragging and dropping, and you'll notice that the question becomes different. Swap the airtime of these two events. Okay, the reason I knew that it was going to be a swap of airtime is because both of these events have an airtime. This is your airtime column. This is your schedule time. Both of them had that. In an inserted event situation, you will not have a schedule time. In a dropped event situation, you will not have an airtime because it didn't air. So so in those cases, I detect that and I turn it into a copy credit. In this situation, both of these events have an airtime. So I figure you're here to swap the airtimes of these events. We say yes, and you can see that the 32 second duration moved to this one and the nine second here and the airing time of 633 went to here and 3309 went to there. Let's swap it back. I'll just drag and drop again and swap them right back and no loss. And of course, once you get through doing this, you'll want to go down and hit save changes. When you do that, you will actually send the information back to your traffic system. You can do this at the end of all of your edits or whenever. Just make sure you do that at the end of it, as it will write it back to your traffic system with the corrections that you've made. I think you'll find that this is actually going to help you tremendously in your reconciliation and how you might be able to edit the few times that you have to go in and override PowerLink's findings to make your reconcile really reflect what you intended to do. Thank you very much. Have a great day.